Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I saw a question on the forums uh, today that said, um, you know, does Azure SQL Database do mirroring? Now, the short answer here is no. Well, that's it. We're not moving Azure. Done. We're out of here. Da -da -da. Okay, but, but wait. <laughs> What what you know? What do you need mirroring for, right? What, why are you doing mirroring? Oh well, you know we want to have a secondary copy of our database, you know, just in case. Oh well, Azure has that built in. Um, Azure SQL Database uh, has high availability built in. Every single database that you create actually creates at least three different databases on three different servers inside the data center that you're within. Um, so your high availability is built right in there. Um, you you kind of don't need to worry about mirroring. Well, yeah, well, but we, um, you know, we, we like to have a, a secondary um, off-site mirror, right? So it, it's a secondary mirror. Oh. Okay, cool. Well, Azure has this thing called geo-replication that allows you to create a database that, um, you know, you can create, create a database on one data center and then geo-replicate to another data center. And that second data center then um, um, you know, is available there for, for you to, to do stuff against. So, you know, you don't need mirroring. Well, mirroring, mirroring, you know, because we've got mirroring and mirroring, we use mirroring um, because what we can do is put the secondary database in standby and then, we, then we've then we got a, you know, read-only copy so we can offload our querying um, to that mirror copy, you know, because we need mirroring. Okay, so geo-replication actually has the ability to create um, multiple read-only secondaries. So you can do more than you can do with mirroring if, if you're using that. Hi, Michelle. Um, anyway, it does more than what you have with mirroring. Well, yeah, but, um, oh, wow, but, but we're going to set up a process whereby we can fail over to the mirror, um, you know, we have to redo the connection strings on the application and stuff and have secondary connection strings and whatnot, but, but then we've got, you know, this failover thing. It's like, well, okay, cool, but, but, you know, it, it, it's got a failover built into geo-replication too, and by the way, it's easier to administer and you can set up geo-replication in about, oh, I don't know, one uh, line of PowerShell scripting, um, there's a whole bunch more functionality there than is in mirroring. Suddenly you start going, well, wait a minute. You're just stuck on mirroring, right? It's not, that, it's not that you're looking at what functionality is it that I need, and then let me satisfy the needs with, you know, whatever the heck it's called. It's like, no, I started using mirroring in 1998, and I'm going to use mirroring for the rest of my life because mirroring... And, and you're ignoring things like availability groups, right? Um, you're ignoring things like the geo-replication. You're ignoring other mechanisms that are going to get you down the road further, faster, stronger, better than mirroring. Um, and we do this with lots and lots of technology. And you see lots and lots of resistance of people moving to Azure, not because Azure can't do what they need, but because it doesn't do what they need in exactly the way that they're used to. It's like, I want everything exactly the same, but I want it all new. Well, <laughs> I get stuck there, right? I, I mean, I just don't know what to do for you. If you want new stuff, go to the new stuff. If you just want to stick to good old-fashioned mirroring and you, by God, are going to always be on heavy metal, local, locally sourced, and you know it's going to be down on your servers... Great. I mean, I know that the argument can be made, you know, that Microsoft is not, you know, giving mirroring and some other older technologies the love that it needs, right? They've created these things, you've implemented them, and then Microsoft has moved on and said, well, yeah, but there were technology limitations there, and there was enough technical debt that we didn't want to pursue it, so we built this other thing called availability groups, um, or we built this other thing called geo-replication. Um, you know, we, we've built these other things that do more, better, faster, stronger. And you're still going, yeah, but mirroring, let it go, right? Just let it go. Um, satisfy the business needs. Satisfy the technology needs. Don't sweat the labels. If you're going to make a move to Azure, make the move to Azure and identify what kind of methodologies and mechanisms Azure offers that are going to make your life easier, that's going to make your life better, that's going to allow you to get more things done. 
rather than focus on mirroring or, or, or you know, pick technology X. I mean, I'm picking on mirroring. I'm not against mirroring. Don't get, don't give me, you know, mirroring diatribes of how glorious mirroring is. Mirroring is glorious. I'm not questioning mirroring is glorious. It's just not in Azure SQL Database. You've got this other thing called geo-replication. We're going to use that instead. Okay, that's all. Um, if you want to make the move, make the move. Identify the technologies you need and make the move based on those technologies. That's my message today. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Regate Software.